Hello, this is Mr. Beck. I'm a technology teacher in San Antonio, Texas. This set of lessons is designed for a seventh grade technology class, but if you're new to Blender, uh, it may be helpful. This is based on my previous sculpting series. Um, I've decided to upgrade all of the computers in my lab to Blender 2.56, which is entirely different. So if you followed my previous sculpting tutorials, um, you'll be familiar with a lot of these concepts, but you may not know where everything is. So basically, I'm just going to sculpt a monster head here using the 2.56 interface. If you're in my class, uh, you'll be expected to follow these directions for a grade. So here we go. Um, when you open up Blender 2.56, all right, this is what it looks like. I like it. Um, it's a little confusing at first, but it, they've built in some pretty neat uh, new features. Um, OK, so we're going to start by. Uh, adding multi-resolution to our standard cube, which is right there, OK? And if you come over here to the right, you've got this wrench. And that wrench is labeled modifiers. Now, in my class, you may need to grab the edge here and pull it out a little bit. You see how I'm able to see everything by sliding that out? I'm going to pick the wrench. I'm going to choose modifiers. And in this case, I'm going to choose add modifier. And I'm going to come down, and you can see all the modifiers you can pick here, um, multi-resolution for this one. OK, so we're going to add multi-resolution. And in order to add layers to this cube, we choose subdivide. So you don't want to go too high. The computers in my class can pretty easily handle five or six layers, I mean, without a problem, um, by subdividing it five times. All right, you can also go back. And it's easier to work sometimes if you back the preview down a little bit and do the work and then you know do your final um, rendering at level five. Uh, before you sculpt though, we're gonna go ahead and we're gonna choose the apply button. Okay, so we've added a modifier to the cube. Um, we've added multi-resolution and uh, we click subdivide five times to get this. Okay, so the next step is to go into um, our sculpting mode, which is down here at the bottom where it says object mode, that's relatively in the same spot as it was in the older version of Blender. Um, I'm going to choose Sculpt Mode. OK. And all of our sculpt tools that we're going to need to sculpt now appear in the left-hand column. All right, we used to have to bring up a special window in 2.49. But you know that's kind of the nice thing about 2.56, I've noticed, is everything you need is pretty much integrated. Um, you don't have to bring up special windows to sort of accommodate your brushes and stuff like that. OK? All right, so the first thing I'm going to do is um, we're going to go ahead and I'm going to choose Subtract. All right? And where it says Symmetry, over here on the left, all right. I'm going to ask for symmetry along the Y axis, which is the green line. So I'm going to choose Y. And um, all right, for the brush radius, I'm going to go ahead and bring that down a little bit. See, so the brush is smaller. All right, I'm going to go ahead and I'm going to sculpt my eyes. And this may not be the most perfect model that I'm going to create here. All right. Um, OK, and so let's go ahead and let's just do something different here. Uh, I'm going to choose Add. All right, and uh, let's go ahead. And you can add a texture to the brush using the texture. I mean, all of these um, options over here on the left are pretty easy to select and, and sort of experiment with. All right, um, so let's go ahead. And for the eyebrows, I'm just going to choose Add. And I'm gonna, you've got your strength and your radius of your brush right here. All right, so the stronger you want it to pull or push, and the wider you want the brush, you can figure right there. So I'm going to make it a little bit stronger this time. And I'm going to make it a little bit wider. All right. And I'm going to go ahead, and I'm just going to add some eyebrows. Or I'm just going to pull up above where the eyes are. All right, just like that. OK. Um, you've got a bunch of brushes, and they've added some new ones. So up here in the top left-hand corner, where it says Brush, if I click on the picture, you can see that they've got some new brushes involved. Now, we do things like, um, in the last video, inflate for the nose. All right, and I'm going to uncheck the Y symmetry, because I'm just going to try to get the nose right in the center. And I'm going to take the radius down. I'm going to move the strength up. And I've got the inflate brush checked, and it's set to inflate. Okay. And so I'm going to go ahead and I'm going to inflate the center area a little bit. Let's see if I can bring my radius up. OK. There we go. And it's just running a little bit slow because I'm recording 
and doing what else? Okay, so you've got your inflate brush, and that'll bring your nose up. Um, you'll also want to create like a mouth, okay? And you'll also want to create ears on the side. Um, you can use your layer brush over on the left here. And once again, I'm going to recheck symmetry Y because whatever I do on one side, I'm going to want to happen on the other. And this is the layer brush, okay? And so I'm going to continually kind of layer up the ears, all right? And I'll go in and I'll choose, um, let's go ahead and use the draw brush and then subtract. And then I'm going to bring my radius down a little bit and I'll just sort of bring a little bit in there on the ears. Okay. All right. So I'm starting to get from what was a cube now a face. Okay. Um, and, you know, it's just kind of fun to get in and it's really easy in 2.56 to experiment with your brushes. So, um, you know, some of the ones that I found that are new are the twist. You know, you can get in there and you can add like, see how it gets in and it adds like an arch. It's kind of neat, the twist brush. Um, so play with the brushes, you know, and try to create the best monster head you can possibly create. In the next video, we'll um, give it some color and we'll do some new things with hair. All right. So that's where you find your sculpting tools in Blender 2.56 and uh, your options are on the left. It's pretty easy to navigate once you know where everything is. Thanks for watching and look for part two in this series um, where we work with hair particles and uh, we'll make them uh, move. It's, it's actually uh, it's pretty, neat, uh, pretty neat technique. So thanks for watching.